coming up in this video from Stonehenge. There's a problem with our diesel stove, which sends us on a six hour journey to find a service center. Hello, we are Ben and Rebecca, and this is our puppy Lucia. In the fall of 2021, we shipped our 4x4 camper van Denny across the Atlantic in search of new experiences and a life less ordinary. Welcome to our journey. Seriously, it's not the way to start a day. And how much more is going to come out of there? Well, once again, the road dictates where we're going and proven once again that spending two or three hours over the past few days trying to plan out and uh, see what is on the road ahead of us is just a complete waste of time because as you just saw our diesel stove we'll just call it kaput for now and the only dealer service center in england is google says it's a four hour drive i'm gonna call that more like six for uh us in this vehicle so all that like, you know, looking at Alice Obscura Park for night, figuring out what's up ahead and meeting up with friends over in uh, Southern Wales. It's going to have to wait for now because we can't cook. We need to get our stove fixed. And we almost booked a ferry this morning. Yeah, we did almost book a ferry to uh, Ireland out of uh, Fishguard. Their delivery vehicle says Wallace, so we are in the right place. That's reassuring. It's a little nerve wracking because we're not near any water yeah. and typically Wallace stoves are used in boats. 
but they do a lot of uh, diesel burners here so let's uh hope we can get this resolved tomorrow i hope so at least it's not a holiday here too yeah or like in spain oh there's two holidays this week (laughs) at least there's no holidays we know about yeah they don't celebrate independence day here unless they call it something different (laughs) uh, for the record it's like july 3rd yeah so tomorrow is a holiday in the states all right let's find our next stop it's okay this way Bridge. I saw that bridge when I was looking at the street view. Okay, they've instructed us to settle in down here at the uh, bottom of their lot and it's definitely sloping down to here but we were actually able to get pretty darn close to level we're definitely low in the back still but side to side we are good there is a creek down here and being a sunday there's uh, probably like a kid's birthday party happening over there Lucia. Say you don't say anything like that. You do, you're right. Pretty redheads. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, not too sweet. Dinner has arrived. This is called the Sunday roast. Very traditional so far in our travels here at pubs but these are yorkshire pudding it's bread but it's called pudding uh this is hey we're omnivores but this is their mushroom and hazelnut vegan entree and we also opted for lamb because we're omnivores leeks uh cabbage roasted potatoes and then beck got an appetizer so this is forest mushroom and it has little mushrooms in it and it's in like a cheesy sauce with this really yummy looking little breads. We'll see if I can have a bite and not make a mess. (laughs) I'm gonna mess. What's for dessert this evening? A chocolate fudge cake with a side of ice cream. The options were cream, or custard, or ice cream, but you all know Ben, he chose ice cream. What's up, Luce? Hi. All right, so dinner's over, and there's our little parking spot. It looks really kind of enchanting right now, doesn't it? All right, we're calling it quits for the day. See you in the morning. Good morning, bright and early at it. The place still isn't open, but I know that we're not comfortable using this stove after the event that happened to it yesterday. So either way, it's gonna have to get removed. So went underneath, I unscrewed the exhaust and simple for the fuel line was a 12 millimeter and then use this pair of pliers to hold the elbow fitting. I broke free the RTV silicone and now it is ready to be lifted out when we get to the service center. Well, good news. There are people at that store that we stopped by yesterday. I called and spoke to somebody by the name of George. He said, come on down. I asked if you guys have parts for these things, if it needs anything, and said, quote, we have the whole enchilada, and that's good. But there's one bad thing. He said that we did not necessarily have to drive all the way up here because he has engineers that work on these things in other parts of the country. That sucks, but it's the decision that we made, so I guess it's the right one. Who knows? but 
we are at least okay i'm not gonna put you into this but i am a control freak an action taker uh if there's a problem i want it to be actively in the process of being solved making forward progress so just twiddling our thumbs there all day sunday for the what if like oh then yeah yeah you can get us in we have like a six hour drive in this thing up here yesterday so hey good we're on our way to get the stove serviced everything else that's just life all right we're here let's go say hello before i pull the stove out George? Uh, George is just coming, he'll be with you in a second. Oh, okay. All right, we'll be right out here. How are you doing? Doing well, how are you today? All right, thank you. Very well, very well. Uh, looking at that, I'd say you, you've got a duff glue plug at the very least. At the very least? At the very least, because it's, that's, that's not doing what it should be doing. And that's down, down to near, nearly five amps. Okay. But a healthy glue plug, it should be around seven, and it should pulse three times. And then firing off. Yeah, and that, that, that might be part of the problem as well, because it's allowing too much fuel in there. Okay. That's why you're getting the howling, and you get the popping, and all that sort of thing. Because obviously, the glow plug will be going, and it, then it will just really warm in the place, warming the uh, burner tube or uh, burner pot, sorry. And then obviously, it starts introducing fuel. Now, if that's not working properly, your glow plug, it might work after a while, but then it's already overfueled. <laughs> See, I'd have no way of no easily that. checking the yeah. glow plug no. or even know the tolerances of the glow plug yeah. amperage. Or... No, no, no. no. no that, 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 I reckon that's not. Yeah. Okay, well, hey, glow plugs are not expensive. No, no, no. And it's, it's a standard service part anyway. It's what, we'd, what I'd normally do, especially for this amount of time. Like, do you know how to set these apart? So all, 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 uh, all, no, I was instructed, right. don't mess with that one, Ben. Right, okay. Unless you have to. I mean, like I say, I, I, when, I, when I do, do the service, if you watch what I'm doing, yeah. it's pretty simple. And then at least then you've got an idea. So if you are in the middle of nowhere, exactly. and you think, oh, hang on, I think it's that. Mm -hmm. At least. Yeah. yeah. Oh, at least it's easy. Oh, that's an, it's an touch, easy start. Touch wood. Wait, yeah, yeah. <laughs> touch wood. Touch wood, everything. <laughs> what I would be tempted to do is change, I don't know, it's up to you with the cost wise, but um, T4 glow plug, matte needle. Matt and needle. But that, that wasn't doing that before. It was just settling around four, four amps, something like that. But now you saw it's actually doing what it should be doing, yeah. pulsing, and it's settled around five, six, seven and a half, eight amps which is okay. Good. Well, the stove is back in the truck. As you can see, Ben is installing everything back in place now. Uh, we are using double-sided tape instead of silicone that we've historically used, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, required a glow plug replacement, which wasn't too bad price-wise, and then they did a full servicing on it. Uh, so all said and done, about 250 US. So I would say that's pretty darn good news. <laughs> Everything functioned really well on the bench test afterwards. So phew. And we did pick up a few parts to have with us in case things happen in the future and we're not near a, um, a dealer. Uh, and he was nice enough to really give us an education on the stove. So we learned a lot today. All right. Uh, all that is left to do is see if it works once we plug it all back in and hook it all back up. So we'll keep our fingers crossed, knock on wood, touch wood, whatever. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine, but back in business, we hope. Well, I'm test firing it here in the camper. It was bench tested inside. So yeah, I guess. It made the be... lights flicker, which it hasn't done. Yeah. So shows the strong glow plug <laughs> so yeah is what it is we will uh cross our fingers but he seemed to think is a pretty cut and dry glow plug issue and we now have an extra glow plug <laughs> 